Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you a few shortcuts and tricks on WhatsApp that you can use on your iPhone. So I'm using the iPhone XS Max. So I'm sure this will work on the iPhone XS, the iPhone X and uh, any other iPhone that supports this. So let's just open WhatsApp. I've got Face ID set here. All right. So see, I'm going to go into this message. It's something I use to order medicine. So say you want certain options. You're using this with just one hand and you know and the iPhone XS Max is a big phone it's not possible to reach all the corners of the screen using just your thumb so very quickly if you tap on a single message sorry double tap you get these options right here so another message double tap and there you go now another way is to use 3d touch so you just press down on a particular message and you get these options as well. But rather than that, because 3D touch can sometimes be a hit and miss, so double tapping is your best way for you to choose whichever option you want. Now, as you can see, um, the ones in light green are the ones I've sent, and this is just for the purpose of this video, I'll show you. If you say want to check when the message that you sent, when it was read and when it was delivered. So you just hold your message and move it to the left. And there you can see, It'll give you when it was read and when it was delivered. Right now I have the uh, red receipts turned off. So that's why uh, it's not showing, but you can just try it out in a group chat or in a normal chat. This works. Now, if you want to reply to a particular message, you just do the same thing in the opposite direction. So tap on a message, move it to your right and that's it. You can reply to that particular message so it's easier for people to you know track which message you replied to now apart from this if we go back if you want to archive this message completely taking it to this side to your left side will archive it open that if you want to unarchive it once again completely take it to the left and it's unarchived if you take this halfway you get options so with that you can do add to contacts mute export clear whatever now say if you don't want to do the swiping you can just use your 3d touch long press and swipe up and you get these options as well so this is really useful for using just one finger and you're you're in a rush these are really really useful so in the opposite direction, you have the option of pinning them if it's important or you can use unread if you want your, you know, it to give you this dot so you know it's unread, you can go in and check it. If it's read, that's it. So these are some tricks. I'm sure most of them you knew already. If you didn't, I hope you enjoyed this. Hit like, hit subscribe and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.